All right, folks, I gotta show you this. This is a crazy idea I had. We're packing up the trailer. And in a previous video, I showed you guys a really small little 100 amp hour battery that I'm using for my canoe and how you could use this setup as a small portable power station. And if you only needed 12 volt, you could use one of these battery boxes because it has 12 volt outlets. But it also has your posts that you hook your trolling motor up to. Well, what if we hooked up an air compressor to it, which we've done, check it out. That's a Smitty built. That's a pretty heavy duty one. Let's have a look. 45 amps max draw. So <laughs> folks, that's like 500 watts. So it's, it's gonna draw that battery down, but we're gonna go ahead and fire this up and air up the tires on the Jeep because we lowered those down to about 20 pounds when we were out on some rough road pulling the canoe to go fishing. So without a whole lot of fanfare, I'm gonna go ahead, get these tires ready to go. So I'm not drawn entirely on that battery, but I said in my video, I didn't really have something going that I could drain that battery and really see how well I could push it. Well, guess what folks, we're gonna push that battery right now. That's the Cyclone Bat 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery that is about one third smaller or two thirds of the size of a normal group 31 Life Po 4 100 amp hour battery. So we're gonna push it right here. We're gonna find out. Let me get my tires ready, brush off the mosquitoes and see if we can get all my tires pumped up before that battery dies. Let's find out. Of course it has to start raining. All right, let me get over here. When I say go, Tim, then you go. <laughs> that's, that's gonna be the plan. Are you ready? And go. I don't know if it's running as hard and fast as it does the other way. That might be too much of a draw. I don't know, it sounds quieter, doesn't it? It may be that the BMS on that battery restricts that from drawing as much power as it should. Pumping air out, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, we're up to 26 pounds. It's pumping plenty hard. Oh yeah, that's working good, Tim. We're at 26 pounds already. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be smart and we'll turn it off between tires. Because that's the way you would do it if you were gonna do this out in the field. You know what they say, uh, watch pot never boils. 33. I went from 26 to 33 pretty quick, actually. As soon as I take it off the tire, as soon as I get it off the tire, mosquitoes are out in force, folks. It's gotta be close to 36 pounds now. 36 is my goal per tire. From this one was 19, the other one's 18, and we got a couple at 20. Come on, let's go. We're gonna jump to 38. <laughs> Oops, went to 39. Go ahead and shut it off. Went to 39 on that one. <laughs> so we'll let a little air out of that. I, it, it, actually, I think the reason it sounds loud, go ahead and turn it on, is because um, we're used to the motor, we're used to the engine running. Mosquitoes are brutal. 37, shut it off. <laughs> it's working pretty good. All right, flip her on. Right on, 36, 22, it's already come up four on that side. Woo! 
Mosquito bugs, they are hot and heavy right now. Yeah, it's still, it's got the four buttons for 100%. It's still blinking on the 100% like it was yesterday when we were running the canoe. 29. 36. Yep. This is actually working pretty good. <laughs> it, it is pretty quick. All right, go ahead and hit it. Thirty-six, thirty-six, thirty-seven, and twenty. So one more to go. I let more air out of the one that had thirty-seven, but it still didn't drop. Sometimes they drop about two pounds. So. Looking pretty good, folks. This is working out great. I'm thrilled. You know, really, for an overland setup with the canoe trailer having the battery, oh, yeah. this is pretty slick. It's working pretty cool. And that little tiny little battery is what's doing it all. And that amazes me because that battery is small. Overland off-road solution. 25 pounds. We're almost there. Oh, these bugs. I didn't put any off on. Should have maybe. I don't know how well it works. I guess it works some. <sighs> Mosquitoes are deadly. 31. We're almost there. Five more pounds. And the battery's already strapped down. You want to come here and watch? And I'll go to the other side and get ready. Is that 35? 36, 36. Okay, shut it off. <laughs> 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 Alright, we're we'll give that a second to rest and then uh, drop that one down to 36 as well. Oh. See, I know if I let too much air out of this one, it'll go to 35. Because they're they're within two pounds, maybe sometimes three. They're not always that accurate. That's really about 36 right there. All right, folks. Well, I'm gonna get my old multimeter out. You won't be able to see this, so you're gonna have to take my word for it. I don't have a camera up close enough here to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and test voltage here. I got 13.22 volts. I'll drop down below the state of charge that we have on the battery, how much reserve we have. If I push the button up here, the fourth light, which is 100%, is currently blinking. So that means it's above 75%, below 100%. 13.22 volts, we can live with that. All right, folks, this sometimes can happen. My camera decided not to record my outro, so I thought I would do a very quick one for you right here. That cyclone bat worked very, very well. I dropped it a total of 30% from all the canoeing we did and then running this compressor. So not only did we run a trolling motor around for a couple hours, but we drew almost 600 watts out of it for a fairly lengthy period of time. Now, of course, I cut things down a little bit for this video, but I think the point is that it makes a great option for just about anything. 100 amp hours is a lot of power. It's 1,280 watt hours. And that little cyclone bat is so small that it's kind of convenient to have around. So whether you're out overlanding in the woods or whether you're just trying to build a, a backup system for your house, a do-it-yourself power station, or frankly, putting in an off-grid solar power system and you want really small batteries due to tight spaces, well, that cyclone bat actually is a pretty impressive little battery. And you'll find it in a link down below to check out. Thanks again for watching, folks. I hope you have a great weekend. The old jarhead out.